What's up everybody? So no show this week. Don't click stop the video. It's going to be an okay vlog. I've got some guests on and uh, actually a little bit of a blooper that happened in one of the videos. I'm also going to talk about my beer and bologna contest, which is blowing up. I can't believe the amount of people that have interest in having a beer and bologna sandwich with yours truly. So stick around to the end. I'll give you some more info on that. And we're closing in on 200 subscribers. I'll talk about that too. Now let's cue the intro. I'm a Canadian indie wrestler. You probably have never heard of me. And I'm winding down my career. So long to see my journey. You got mail. You got mail. So I was lucky enough to get two questions from Bobby J. St. Laurent, also known as Beautiful Bobby J. Question one, hatred, is James Roth related to David Lee Roth? First off, Bobby, thank you for calling me kid. You know, as a 44-year-old man, sometimes I feel like an old man. But when an old man like you calls me kid, it makes me feel young again. So thanks a lot there, Bobby. Um, I do not believe he is related to David Lee Roth because I teamed with James Roth just on the weekend, last weekend, and anybody that was related to David Lee Roth would flex that in every conversation they've ever had with any human being. So he didn't mention it, so I do not think so. And then the second question, hatred, is James Roth trying to look like a 70s porn star, or does he actually like that cheesy stash? Well, me being 44, I have no idea what a 70s porn would look like, let alone a porn star stash, but I do believe I've seen a couple pictures of some 70s mustaches like Tom Selleck. Now, I don't know what look James Roth is going for, but he's definitely no Tom Selleck. But maybe if I get the guy on for a beer and bologna sandwich, I will ask him those hard-hitting questions. So thanks for the questions, kid. I mean, Bobby. We're supposed to make a list of all the things we want to do in our lives before we get the bug. So I'm here with Tyler James from Lorette, Manitoba. You can see the fans are filling in here. On this channel, we talk a lot about bucket lists, so we want to hear what Tyler's bucket list is. Let's hear it, Tyler. So the bucket list is things I want to accomplish before I die. Right? Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think that'll ever happen. Tyler James is going to live forever, so we don't have to worry about that. But like, <laughs> just just for all intents and purposes, so we're talking like wrestling, like things yeah. like wrestling. I want wrestling, to see let's go into wrestling. Like, I don't want to hear Mary oh, and man. degree. And yeah, Mary no, Mary. that's all... Yes. So, really, one thing I'd love to do is uh, like go go on tour, like when Danny's uh, um, CWE's 30 day tour. I'd love to do one of those. Yeah, that's yeah. that's definitely one. I'd also I'd love to make towns on a motorcycle. But first thing, really? I'd have to get I'd have to get a motorcycle, right? Which paradise used to do that? Oh, really? Yeah. I just I think it'd be I don't know. It'd be kind of cool just to kind of like etch your 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 legacy, I guess, or you know your 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 mark in history that you. I mean, you know, I did a tour on a on a motorcycle, which I think would be pretty cool. Another one would be like it's been a long time since I've had a any sort of championship. You know, I'd love a, I'd love to carry a tag team championship again, maybe you know, even a, a junior heavyweight or middleweight or cruiserweight championship. You know, so. shoot high, we're a heck of a wrestler. I, I appreciate that. I, I just want to go back to that try traveling on a motorbike because that is so smart. Because with the gas prices right now. You could make all the towns on a motorbike. Like, it's super cheap on gas. So you're a smart guy. Uh, who knows? Like, it's just, uh, you know, because when, you, when, you when you're making towns with your buddies, you try to put four in a car, and then you split the gas that way, right? I'm not I'm not 100% sure if it's, uh, you know, it would be 100% uh, cost-effective. So, Annabelle, you've you got a YouTube channel of your own, don't you? Uh, this, this is this is, my, this is my daughter, Annabelle. She's got eight subscribers. Tell, tell I've me, heard about you. I'll subscribe. About you, what, do you, what do you do? Hold on. Much? I'll subscribe to you if you subscribe to me. Is that fair? Yes. Okay, what's your channel? Annabelle Cornell. And what's it about? Just randomness. I do randomness. Just randomness. I've heard you did some makeup tutorials. No, not really. No? <laughs> you said makeup. So what do you do on the random stuff? Tell me one thing you do. I'm going to check your videos out. I, I did do a video going to Costco. Oh, that's awesome. I love Costco. And where did you, where did you get that? What, you, what you're eating there? I got it at um. And where did you get that shirt? Yeah, the degenerate shirt. That's a degenerate shirt. You know those Rob Stardom shirts? Yeah. I got I the there is. I got them here. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm going to subscribe to you. Make sure you subscribe back. You'll break my heart if you don't. Dana, come say hi to the camera. 
Okay, I can cut her out then. <gasps> Any of those other buckles you want to ride in a motorbike, you want to do Danny's tour. You can do more than that. What else? Come on, man. Maybe, uh, well, maybe main event a show with, uh, with a player that's, uh, got some notoriety in America. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, 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 name anybody. I don't care. Just if, you know, if someone wants to come up here and let's, uh, that, that, I think that'd be one as well. Even though I've had a few matches with, uh, you know, uh, been involved with the match with Tommy Dreamer and just recently uh, you just Big Vito, Vito yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And those were both six-man contests, which yeah. is fantastic. A lot of great, a lot of great uh, insight, and it was a great experience. And uh, you know, just the and the audiences were fantastic at yeah. both of them, right? So I'm really, uh, I'm hoping maybe something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. You just, how long are you wrestling? This is I just passed my 20th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. wow! Like uh, you know, you're not getting any younger. That bucket no. list, you better check it off soon, man. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Thank you for your time, man. Thank you. No problem. I love this. So awesome. anytime. What the hell am I watching? Not wrestling related, and you might think I'm crazy, but I'm watching Annabelle Hornung's YouTube channel. Why, you ask? First off, she's an awesome kid. She subscribed to my channel, and she's also the daughter of Tyler James. Check her out. It's some cute videos. Maybe your kids will like them. And for all you wrestling fans out there, check out Jack Sabbath on YouTube. He's got tons of stampede wrestling footage. Um, also, he has some cool 80s ACDC music videos. But if you love stampede wrestling, this is a great channel to check out. Check it out. What? Sandwich. Yeah. And again, don't worry, I'll be I'll read the shit, but I'll just video in on him, so I'll film in on him. Straight square video? Yeah, that's fine. Try to keep what? Yeah, make sure they see that. Yeah, it's like you didn't put the mouth where I, I know, but just you can you can mention that to me. Where's your beer, okay? Yeah. Right. Okay, so and you can mention that I'll intro you, you can go right into that, okay? How it Embarrassing. It's supposed to make a list of all the things we want to do in our lives before we get the bucket. So today for my bucket list, this is the last item I had on my bucket list. First off, unfortunately I haven't completed it. And it's something I'd still like to complete, but I think it's highly unlikely. And that is wrestling in Puerto Rico. So why the heck do I want to wrestle in Puerto Rico? Well, growing up, I read a lot of wrestling magazines, just like I'm probably sure you did as well. I would see these pictures of Carlos Colon, Bruiser Brody, Abdul the Butcher, covered in blood, um, being featured in magazines, um, Wrestle World, Pro Wrestling Illustrated, Inside Wrestling, you name it. Um, it looks super cool uh, to see all those guys. And then I even was lucky enough as a young man to get a few... Um, tapes and see some footage of Puerto Rico and it just looked crazy. Um, getting into the business, it was something I strive for and then my, one of my trainers, Vance Nevada, one of his prized pupils, Andy Anderson, actually was working in Puerto Rico for IWA so I'd already wanted to go there and I thought, man, it's possible. And then later on in my career, um, working with Kerry Brown, also known as Rick Valentine. He spent a long time in Puerto Rico. So something I still really, really wanted to do once I was in the business. But unfortunately, I came close, but uh, the stars just didn't align. I actually was in San Juan, Puerto Rico, um, on a cruise with my family. Bushwhacker Luke had helped me out to get me in contact with a couple offices. Unfortunately, they didn't have any shows, so I was not lucky to get booked. It's something I still would love to do. And I'm not going to lie, I definitely am looking at uh, different companies. I've got enough air miles, I can go there, there and back 20 times. So it's something that never say never. But uh, I recommend to any young wrestler, take a look at what's going on in Puerto Rico. Uh, they've got lots still going on to this day. It is a wrestling hotbed. And those audiences are so crazy. Um, they love pro wrestling. And it's still something I'd like to do. But unfortunately... I have not been able to do it. So I'm pretty excited. I just found out today that uh, in Winnipeg for CW Canadian Wrestling's Elite, I'll be facing off against Mentalo. It's been a long time since we've had a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh, we've had some good ones in the past. He is a top talent in any country you go to. Um, I really look up to him, and I hope uh, this old man can keep up with him because he is phenomenal. So... Speaking of phenomenal, 
It's unbelievably phenomenal the amount of people that have sent me a message that live within one hour of Selkirk, Manitoba that want a shot at winning a beer and bologna sandwich with yours truly. Keep the names coming in. I'll do the draw on the next vlog and I'll figure out with the winner what time and when we're going to do this. But I can't believe some of the caliber of the, the pro wrestlers that are putting their names in. I, I just thought there'd be a bunch of fans, but there's some legit name wrestlers that want to have a beer and bologna sandwich with me. Um, so who knows? Who knows who it will be? But it has to be someone one hour away from me. And then also closing in on 200 subscribers so super excited again i can't believe so many people are watching this um i hope you're still watching even though there's no show a lot of people like the show vlogs but still crazy um so we hit 200 subscribers i do a draw we teamed up at firstrow.ca for 100 dollars. i should get a nice graphic there but uh hey i can't even film beer and bologna sandwiches right sometimes so um with $100 worth of collectibles from fr from firstrow.ca. So super excited uh, to be able to hit that milestone soon. Um and also, I have talked about everything on my bucket list. So next week I will be talking about what I'm going to talk about next. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the rest of the video and thanks a lot. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. For all your sports memorabilia needs, welcome to First Row. Like we always do about this time. <laughs> Firstrow.ca, Canada's online collectible store. Sports cards, we got them. NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL, autographs, action figures, comic books, and wrestling collectibles. If you're a collector, we got what you need. Remember the name, firstrow.ca, Canada's online collectible store. I almost forgot, I received these from fans this week. Somebody made my wife in the new WWE video game, Mrs. Stardom. Um, she's a rookie at level 3, whatever that means. And now Stardom has a Pokemon from Pokemon Go. I don't play Pokemon Go and know much about it, but I think it's pretty cool someone named a Pokemon after me. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll be in Wadena, Saskatchewan, June 18th for Canadian Wrestling's Elite, where I'll be in a big battle royal, as well as facing Danny Duggan. See me in Winnipeg, Friday, June 24th, versus the zombie hunter Mentolo. And also see me in Dauphin, Saturday, June 25th, for Canadian Wrestling's Elite.